everybody? Uh, Jack here from Half Grown. Chris and I today are testing out the Beast. This is a fat tire e-bike by Fun Bike. And this thing is aptly named because it is absolutely a beast. Stay tuned, we're gonna tell you all about this thing. Okay, before I get into the e-bike, I have to mention this. This is the DJI Avada, and this is what I used for all of those kind of chase shots. A lot of those dynamic shots were done with this. If you're thinking about, you know, getting into FPV or adding a drone to your repertoire, this thing is absolutely the best if you want to chase things, add some real movement, FPV. This is the best drone, great camera, easy to fly, at least comparatively to a lot of these other things we're flying. Anyway, let's get at this bike. All right, so this is the Beast by Fun Bike, and the Beast is an app name for this thing because it is a monster. Um, you know, it's tipping the scales about 84 pounds. Uh, it's 74, 74 and a half inches roughly from one tire to the next, and it's gonna stand 45 and a half inches tall at the handlebar. So not a small bike by any stretch of the imagination. This bike actually reminds me of like an old World War II motorcycle, maybe something out of one of those Indiana Jones uh, movies. You know, I'm, I'm looking around to see if I can get, in addition to these accessories, maybe a sidecar to go along with this. Uh, but yeah, it's a beast. Such the right name for this thing. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's get back on to the review. Um, it'll also hold a decent 350 pounds, uh, so it has a pretty solid payload. Now it is a 26 inch bike, and that of course is referring to the tires. They're 26 by four inch, pretty knobby, uh, aggressive fat tire. So this thing is gonna be capable in a lot of different situations. In the back is a 48 volt 750 watt brushless motor and that's in the rear hub and that's paired to a 48 volt 20 amp hour lockable and removable battery it's going to take you six hours or so to get that thing fully charged from a low level so just kind of keep that in mind not a quick charge so they say the top speed is 20 miles an hour but you know i think out of the box it was going 24 and just with a little bit of pedal assist it's really easy to get this thing up to 30 and they estimate a range of 55 miles, somewhere between 30 and 55. Now remember, range is super dependent on who you are, what you're carrying, how you ride, and where you ride. So that's really something um, that you're going to have to determine. Basically take the manufacturers, say 55, their top range, cut it in half. And that's probably what you can expect. But again, that's really going to vary depending on who you are and how you, how you ride your bike. The brakes are really nice. They are hydraulic brakes. You absolutely want a hydraulic brake on something this big and heavy. And they're 180 millimeter discs, which again is a definite improvement or an upgrade over a lot of the, the bikes that have 150 millimeter discs. Shifting gears is nice and smooth and easy thanks to the Shimano 7 uh, gear derailleur. Uh, really well done. Uh, pretty standard on a lot of these bikes. So this bike does use a cadence sensor versus a torque sensor. So a cadence sensor basically just senses your speed and kind of adjusts to that, whereas a torque sensor will basically amplify the pedaling that you're doing. Now there are five pedal assist modes with this bike, and I found three, four, and five to be kind of where it's it's really doing quite a bit of work so if if you just want a little bit of assist you're going to want to ride in one and two um, it also has a thumb throttle which is really nice if you're interested in not pedaling at all um, the thumb throttle is super easy to use this bike has a lot of extras uh, on it it came with uh, fenders at least the rear fender installed as well as a luggage rack over the rear wheel uh, we put on the front fender and even has a nice little nice little bell right if you're you're into that it does have an lcd screen for a lot of that basic information speed odometer and things like that uh, i found it to be a little bit dim i would have preferred it to be a little bit brighter uh, but it's certainly lit enough that i can read what's happening and how fast i'm going I found the seat to be comfortable, nothing too special, except it is really easy to move up and down. Now, I'm about 5'10", Chris is about 6'2", and it was really simple and easy to switch the seat height to go from rider to rider. Now, they suggest this bike for anybody basically from 5'3 to 6'4", so that's a pretty big range, and I can tell you being in the middle of that, it certainly worked for me. 
This bike does have a nice front suspension and paired with that big fat tire up front. It's going to absorb quite a few of those shocks. It also has a really nice bright LED light in the front and some LED uh, brakes in the back. So, you know, that is pretty nice. Now, putting this thing together was pretty basic. Basically, you add the handlebars, throw on the front tire, the front fender, and that front light your pedals and you're good to go i would say you know expect this to take you roughly 45 minutes um, my biggest struggle was the led light and the fender put the fender on first then the light don't do it in the other order it'll take you just a little bit longer you know the directions that come with it aren't the best but they do have pretty solid video directions on their website i suggest you take a look at that before you get rolling Overall, this was a really nice bike for about $1,900. Uh, if you're looking for a big, fat, tire, uh, heavy-duty bike, it's a solid option for sure. So maybe the question is, who is, you know, this fat tire e-bike for? And, you know, my brother-in-law, not Chris, uh, but Ryan, he was riding this thing. He is an avid bike rider. He's done the rag bry out in Iowa. Anyway, he thought it was a lot of fun. Like, he, he kind of likened it to a an electric golf cart, but a lot more fun. Uh, it was just really comfortable and easy to ride. Um, so you got to kind of think of that. Now, this uh, fun bike company is a newer company. Um, and if you want to learn more, they'll actually be out in California at the Electrify Expo in Long Beach from the 19th to the 21st in May. So you can get some more info on this and some of their other bikes there if that's your jam. We'll have a link for you in the video description down below. And a lot of times companies like to give us a coupon code and I've asked Fun Bike for one. I think they're giving me one. So make sure you check down below to save a little bit of extra cash if you're interested in this bike. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Good luck, everyone, and happy pedaling.